Hi, this is Nick, and uh, we're back again with Intro to Programming Part 2. And today we're going to talk about uh, variables, expressions, and assignment statements. So um, this is pretty cool, pretty interesting stuff. Um, basically, there's these things called, called um, variables that store information in C++. And um, they have different types of storage. Okay. Oh, uh, one more thing. If you need to get Visual Studio or you're um, looking at my previous video, I posted the information on there. And also, please take a look at that um, Absolute C++ book that I posted on the previous video. That book is a good reference. That will give you all the information you need on types. But I'll, I'll go through and explain them here. Okay. So basically, there's different types of storage. Okay. And they store information. And you can store bas basically numbers characters and true and false what are called boolean expressions okay um, so we'll start with the most basic number an integer number okay an integer number is any number from negative two million or two billion one hundred forty seven million four hundred eighty three thousand it's basically negative two billion to positive two billion so you can store any number in there but it can't store decimals and there's also long int, which stores bigger numbers, and um, short int, which stores smaller numbers. And they take a different bit sizes. So a short int is two bits, and int is four bits or four bytes, excuse me. And so if you're running a code program, and you're worried about space, you'd use the smaller one if you only needed small numbers, and the bigger one if you needed bigger numbers to save space. Like you know, so your Call of Duty is you know, four gigs instead of eight gigs. And well it wouldn't be that big of a difference, but you get the idea. Okay. And there's also floating point numbers, which are also store numbers, but they are allow you to store decimal numbers. Okay. You can't store a decimal number with an integer. And also the math is different when you do math. We'll get to that a little bit later. Okay. And there's also characters, strings, and Boolean. Okay. And characters store letters. Strings store you can use it's like an array of of letters to form a sentence. Okay typically typically um, and boolean true or false yes or no okay um, so if this is true then this happens if not then this um, zero or one zero is false and one is true they're interchangeable you could say we'll get to assignment in a little bit but basically you can say it either bool is equal to zero or false it's the same thing to the computer it doesn't matter okay so if you look up up here I um, already created a new project and added a source file and you can learn how to do that um, in the previous video if, if you don't um, understand it. Um, anyway, so the first number here is an integer, okay? And I decided to name it num, and this is this is what you do. Okay, you say what type it is, and then you give it a name, okay? It's like naming your storage box. And when you're naming things, there's certain naming conventions in programming that are typically used. and in, in fact, they're always used. Um, style, um, um, it's called style casing. Um, so, for example, you start out your first word and your name always is lowercase, then everything after that's uppercase for the first letter. For example, for example decimal num. You'll notice the N is capitalized. Okay? And then you assign it a value. Okay? Like integer number is 1. So now this value here is stored with a 1. Okay? And this float here is stored with a 5.2. This character called name Start with an A. I probably should have named it something different. It's kind of dumb. And then the string named sent has this information in it. You'll notice with the character, it's always a single quote, and with the string, it's always a double quote. That'll become important later. Okay. And then we console out the number, and then we end line, which goes to the next line. If I didn't have end line here, I would just put number and the decimal number next to it. Um, and then console out decimal number, end line console out name in line and then in order to show what's in a string you have to do what's called a loop because this is like this is sent zero right i is zero the space is one the h is two we'll get to that later but just just be aware that that string is like an array of characters in a way okay it, it, it's actually a class it's, it's a little it's a little different but just kind of think of it that way okay so let's see we have all this stuff here and we're going to display it and I'll show you what it looks like. So, control F5. Right? Give it a second. Let's see. And if you look over here, it displayed 
num, and then went to the next line, and then display the decimal number 0.2a. Just give you an example about integers. If you do integer like 1.2, like that for example, and then you split it, you'll notice it still does a 1, even though you had a 1.2, because it can't store decimal numbers. Okay? Something important to remember. Integers can be very useful, but they can't store um, decimals. And actually, they're really useful for division and stuff. If you have, um, like, well, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so now you see how you store information. Now, what if you wanted to add information? Like, let's just say you wanted to say num, right, is equal to, or you want to say, like, let's create a new one, okay, integer second num, second num, okay, is equal to num plus one, okay, let's just do that, okay, and you'll see that if you display that, which we've already, already know how to do that, right, second, oops, second, num in mind, right? And then send dot get. Okay, should remove this one because we don't need that there anymore. Right? And if you'll see, okay, control F5, you'll see bring it down around here. Oh wait, hold on. Oh that's right, this thing. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Um say hold on a second, I gotta Well basically what it does is it adds it we'll, we'll We'll do, do that. Um, one second. I'll show you. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on. Here I am. Um, bear with me for a second. Um, oh, I'm. Um, it's really late at night. I'm, I'm super tired. It's late at night. Um, uh, name space std. Okay, and me. Return zero. Right. Okay. So int num equals one. Right. Um, int. Second num equals num plus one, right? Now you, why is this not going over? Visual Studio, what are you doing to me? Okay, um, num and mine. That's an L, by the way. <laughs> when I first started programming, I couldn't get this to work because I didn't realize that, that was an, uh, an L. I thought it was a 1, and I d it wouldn't work. N anyway, <laughs> it's E-N-D-L. Okay, anyway. Maybe it's, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so we end, we end our expression with the semicolon, right? Okay, and then we do sin.get. There. We do control F5. We build this thing. See, you'll, you'll notice. I'll explain why I had to do this later, but anyway. Um, so you'll see it, it displays num, which has a 1 in it, and then the second one takes num plus 1 and adds it, and you'll see that it, um, oh, you'll see that it um, adds it to it. Okay? And you can do that with all your variables and all your numbers. Okay? Just kind of an idea. Kind of cool. Um, just give you an idea what you do. So, like, in you assign something and then add it to another one. And that um, is your assignment statements. Okay? And you can always do two. You can always do, like, um, if you want to, you can do, like, you know, a third num and say second num plus num equals this, and it will give you two. Cause, or three, sorry, because second num is two and num has one in it, and you add them together, you get three. Okay? You can also do multiplication, the same thing. Um, if you want to do like num multiplied by two, it would give you um, one times two, and it'd be the same. But let's just say this was like I don't know, five or something like that, right? Um, then it'd be ten. Okay. We'll get into the math later because there's different things with floating numbers and integers and math. I just wanted to let you be aware of, of assignment operators and and uh, making variables have information in them. Okay. Cool. Well, that is that. Oh, one one last thing. You don't have to do um, 
one, you, if you want to do assignment, you can also do like second num, second num times equal five, okay? And whatever value it has in here, here it would be ten, it would be ten times five, and it would turn this into fifty. Now, does that, does that make sense? You do the same thing with all, with all of them, okay? Um, with, um, with, uh, divide, right, okay, and, um, minus and plus, okay, but we'll get, I, I want to get the math in a different video, but just to be aware that, that there's a little bit easier ways to do sort that's one of the things about programming you'll definitely discover later on, is there's always an easier way to do it, <laughs> no matter what you do, there's always an easier way, it's kind of fun, you know, you talk with your friends, and, oh, I figured I'd do this easier, and anyway, so there's that. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.